Young and the Restless fans, you know what time it is. We got the hot early spoilers for this upcoming week, and I got to say, it looks like it's going to be a good one. First, we have two old flames looking like they're coming back together. We have somebody having second thoughts about a decision. We have an entitlement going on, and of course, they have their expectations, and oh yeah, Jordan is coming for all things Newman. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your hot early spoilers for the young and the restless for the week of December 11th, and without any further ado, let's get a sneak peek of what's going on in Genoa City next week. We can hit the reset button. I'm sure so willing to try. So let's talk about Sally and Adam. And in my case, this ship has sailed for me a long time ago. These two have been through the trenches and back. And at this point, I've pretty much gotten over it. Everything for them being together to them breaking up over a job and then Nicholas inserting himself and then there's a baby and then there's no longer a baby. And then, of course, both of these men are fighting for someone. And, of course, where is Nick? Well, we know where he was the last couple of weeks. And now this conversation. So... I'm wondering, is she being sarcastic by saying, do you really think that we can actually make this work? Or is she truly invested by making that statement and saying, hey, Adam, do you think we can make this work? I mean, only time will tell on what her intent with that statement is. But we do know that Adam has been waiting to get back in the good graces of a relationship with Sally. Please don't tell me that you're feeling like rehiring your cousin was a mistake. Devon having second thoughts already? I mean, seriously, at what point are you going to use your own mind to make a decision? Now, I know Nate have done some things, but hasn't everybody in this town? I mean, there was a whole brutal blocking fight over on Twitter, which is now X, about people saying that he should be dragged through the trenches, meaning Nate. And on the flip side, you had people saying, well, that shows a level of hypocrisy. Everybody else has been forgiven in this town and been able to move back into their lives. What about Nate? So yeah, it's going to be interesting. But my issue with this whole situation is, uh, Lily, Devon, can you make your own decisions? You went through all of that. Even Esther had to kind of put her two cents in before you actually switch gears to even offer Nate the position. Either work with this guy or don't. Okay, let's just get it done. Laura's pretty freaked out about being in jail. We told her that we would find her a lawyer. You want me to defend her? So let me get this straight, Victoria. You want Michael Baldwin, your dad's attorney, and you know your dad pretty much want to throw Claire and Jordan underneath the prison. But your entitlement is that you expect Michael to represent Claire. There is thousands and thousands of attorneys, and I know Michael is the only attorney on The Young and the Restless, but I don't blame Michael for saying, wait a minute, you want me to do it? Which puts him in the middle of a war between you and your father. Now, this is going to be interesting to actually see if Michael actually defends Claire, because I can tell you Victor is going to say uh, no. So we'll have to stay tuned to see how that unfolds. It won't be long now, Eve. The high and mighty Newman family is exactly what they deserve. Every last year. So it looked like our friendly neighborhood villain, Jordan, Aunt Jordan, as she's known as, have scat out of that wall in Oregon, and she is now in that cheesy motel room that Phil is unalive Jeremy Stark in and is now in Genoa City. Now, my thing is, she is still stuck on the fact that her sister Eve couldn't get her claws in the Victor Newman. Now, we do know the history between those two because, hey, she tried to get her come up and on the Newmans and of course Victor wasn't having it but it's like wait a minute even if Eve got with Victor she would probably been one of many I mean 
Victor did have 14 marriages. Have we forgotten? Julia Newman, Nikki Newman, Leanna Love, Ashley Abbott, Hope Adams, Diane Jenkins, Sabrina Castellano, Maggie McLean, even Sharon. And you think that uh, he was going to get with your sister and lock her down for life? Uh, no. I mean, even him and Nikki been married three times to each other. So it's like, girl, get some help seriously, because it ain't happening. Now, I know it makes for good drama and everybody is loving this actual storyline because it is pretty darn interesting to say the least. But just in soap context, it's like, girl, listen, your sister is gone. Unfortunately, condolences. You turn around and gaslight the heck out of your niece who is now lost in the sauce who now needs to be defended and you're still not done and you going to avenge her death for what by going after all of the Newmans. I'm wondering if that includes Adam and I mean, Hey, Abby is a Newman uh, by blood at least too. Now, some people are saying that this may be another opportunity for Adam to save the day. I don't know. I guess I have to wait and see because we were hoping that the first time in Oregon and he was nowhere to be found in this storyline. So we'll have to see. It's going to be interesting to say the least, but yeah, we got to stay tuned. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless hot early spoilers for the week of December 11th through December 15th. If you haven't checked out the Bold and the Beautiful hot early spoilers, they have been uploaded to this channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!